Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an episode of the Non-Cooperators. We're back playing some more Batman: The Tall Tale series. We are able to. Uh, we were. Uh, bleh, I can't, can't pronounce anything right now. Uh, we're up to the uh, second episode, Children of Ar uh, Children of Arkham. So we're gonna start playing this right now. Um, where we last left off with all the uh, other Batman stuff. So previously on Batman, the, uh, the Tall Tale series. I got the mic a little bit closer right now because I can't really, uh, you know. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. That's nice. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. There's only one side I'm on. Mine. Mine. Thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. It's a little loud in my ear, but I don't know how, how it is for you guys. Hopefully I'm loud enough so you guys can hear me and this, or if it's just like, cross. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? Oh, that ass. It's dangerous. I'm Batman! Pat Punch. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> I was gonna lift her up and be like, don't mean to impress you, but I'm Batman. So I cut myself shaving, and, uh, Harvey Dent hit you. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Huh. White Rose, Falcone. Card. I do like the, uh... The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? These uh, scenes are a little bit long, so I can't. I don't want to. Don't want to like uh, talk over them too much. It's the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> so apparently they probably were with them. This whole pit picture with uh, all three of them: Thomas, Martha, and Alfred. Unless they were just there uh, swingling them, but all right. Well, let us continue with this game. That's a game series that uh, adapts to the choices that we make. The story is tailored to how you play. Let's play like Batman, well, as, as best as I can as Batman. So I'm not too sure I'm gonna tangle up these episodes because I was doing like 10 minute segments last time. I might do. I don't know. I was thinking about just doing like a one time rec uh, record and just posting it, seeing that, or maybe like I don't know. See how it works out. Lately, my episodes have been coming in like, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something along those lines. Just whatever works out. So, let's see what happens. So, you don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I'm not too sure why he had a memorial set on Crime Alley, but okay. I mean, I know it's where his parents died, but okay. I thought I might find you here. Sup? The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. My money, I couldn't read the rest. I know you've come here. My money Bruce. behind Wayne Fortune. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years, what would you have me do? You well, were a child. I saw the picture. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Well, the papers. it did. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. Who's you they? The mob or us? That kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. It kind of has. You know, I, I bought a very expensive car that transforms to the fucking Batmobile. I mean, that's pretty corrupted. Well, maybe not as corrupt, but you know what I mean. Oh, I would still get a Ferrari like that and just, like, morphs into the Batmobile. Red Ferrari to a black Batmo Batmobile. He's wearing a checkered tie. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Ugh. Father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. 
So he was doing deals with Falcone. Figures. I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But that night he took he took you and and Martha. Yeah. <laughs> that night he took you and Martha to celebrate. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? I don't know. Now I still kind of have this feeling where Joe Chill, uh, the one who killed. Oh damn it! My camera's going crazy right now. Hang on, guys. This is the first time I've been back here since. All right, it's working again. I don't know why. What's going on with it? Something's up. My camera's dying, or my graphics card, or something's dying. So damn it. See, now I have a feeling that Joe Chill was at. Simply too well known. Was actually a uh, too big place there. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In twenty years, you've never wavered from that story. Yeah, but now I feel like that Joe Chill might have been there. Every moment of that night, Co not together. by coincidence. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes. We block out things we don't want to face. There's also there was some detail I overlooked. Uh, so now we're gonna go in detective mode as Bruce Wayne and trying to go back into flashbacks and past. All right, here we go. Um, now I'm actually. Uh, I mean, obviously there was a, there's so many um, universes where uh, Batman actually experienced this type of tra uh, traumatic uh, uh, experience. W uh, one of my favorite ones is one that Joe Chill was actually Bruce Wayne. He was sent back into the past, and a whole bunch of BS happened. But now I'm actually really guessing that standing here. Joe Chill was. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question: Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? Because it was a setup. Like I feel like it, that's what it was. To death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. And I think the stab, the stabbing in prison was obviously also like you know keeping his mouth shut. Again, this is just all. I'm just thinking right now. I mean, I could be entirely wrong, or I could be. Oh my god, I just solved the whole goddamn case, piece by piece. I mean, shit like that. It does. It, it's not something that doesn't seem like it can't happen. It's just like a different part. It's just like a, something that's like different that happens in the actual story itself. I mean, this is also all different. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just, I can't picture him. I don't know what to say there. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Okay, so what's next? We're we going back. I mean, because now I feel like now the theater was just going. Now we're just going back to the theater. Wayne Memorial Auditorium. Oh, so the theater. That was the theater, and then I bought it. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. What? What did it play there? Only when what you the, wanted to see it. The Mark of Zorro. Mother arranged the special screenings personally. Oop. The Mark of Zorro, right? I don't know, they... She was always so good to me. Mother arranged the special screenings. So did word actually get out that someone, that, that like, oh, Martha Wayne is now uh, setting up a special screening. This will be a good time to go uh, kill the Wayne family. I don't know, it just... Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. Huh. And the gun fires. And then everything oh, goes to black. That. And the pearls just fall into all over. Considerable gaps in that recollection. That's one of the most memorable things is the pearls. Do I really want to know? I don't know if it's in this one. I didn't I didn't even see Martha wearing any pearls. Let me uh I'm gonna see if there's a flashback. Yeah, I know you use that to move. I am okay, so 
Wait, that doesn't make any sense. We were coming... Wait, back up. We can't back up? Okay. We were coming from the other side, up uh, over, like, all the way down there. What, did he just, like, circle us or something? Oh, she is wearing pearls. Yeah. Yeah, nothing personal, just business. Obviously... Obviously, this is all, this was all a setup. Oh wow, two shots! I thought it was just one, uh, it was just one shot. Oh damn! Right in the head. Oh, in the eye! Ow! Seriously? Wait, how many shots was that? One, two, three, four, five. But the pearls were all supposed to. Is he gonna, like, grab the pearls? Yeah, he's gonna grab the pearls. Yeah, and there they go. And what, he's out of ammo? But I mean, it was only five shots, right? I think I, I think I count. I think I counted five. Bruce. But all the cops came. All right. It wasn't a mug. It was a hit. They were assassinated. Yep, called it. Seriously, this is the first time I've actually playing this game. It literally just came out, so I don't even I don't know the story. I'm just really I'm just that good of solving crimes like that. Because I'm Batman! Oh yeah, by the way, get uh get an achievement of uh, uh, two point one broken memories. Um yeah, we usually do the ten minute mark, but we only just like solve the uh first part of it and we just got to the title screen. So I'm not gonna do ten minutes. I'm gonna oh, by the way, GCPD at eight fifty 6 a.m. So, hi guys, how you doing? Uh, we're at the we're at the police station, and we're just gonna be uh, walking in. And uh, come on, let's open that door to see how busy it is. Oh, it's an elevator. Never mind then. Oh damn, they're just dicks to dent. Well, actually, I I, I know why, cause uh, you know. You to see Falcone like this? I have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Damn, he's fucked up. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm always here for you. But this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that heart, okay? And it means a lot to me. Yay! I know it does, Bruce. <laughs> Biffle! It make it any easier. Biffle, be my Biffle. Last time we brushed shoulders Biffy. with Tony, the press made us pay. Well, this time it's just... At least tell me what this is about. A reconcilement. You don't want to know. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I, th I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Yeah, so let me Bruce, find out. That's, that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with them. I like some hair is kind of sticking out from uh, Bruce Wayne on the uh, the comb part. How it's parted to the side, and right here it's parted down. In between, it's like a little sticking out. Usually, with these types of graphics, it's kind of like a comic book style. It's pretty cool, but um. Oh, I'm sorry. Information? What? Oh yeah, you'll remember last episode. I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Would tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Yeah. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's this an opinion. The reason I said yes to this unorthodox uh, request. Uh, alrighty then, so Good now... Job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Renee. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. So, I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks. Well, Sergeant. let me give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe later. Peace. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted so, to kill him, but he held back. Well, I mean, what, what was it? Doing the right thing. I know he does a lot for the department, but. <laughs> Honestly, Batman freaks me out. <laughs> I, He's definitely freaky. I, I, I gotta uh, take the side of being like... Take the side of being like, Oh, that guy dressed up as a bat cat. Ooh, some problems. Which he really does. Like they've always uh, they've always said that like bat like the first person to go into Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum should be instituted is Batman. Oh, here we go. Just BAM! Episode 2! <laughs> In case we don't know what episode we're playing, bam! What was it like? Four, uh, uh, almost fifteen minutes in, just already says, just says that. All right, so he's uh, he's fucked up. 
There's a syringe right there. Okay, okay there we go. Ch Children of Arkham. Syn syringe right there. Uh, God forbid he's probably going to go reach over. Hey, stab, help. stab, stab. Bruce Wayne. What's up? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. Yeah. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. Tommy. Oh, there was, there was More Thomas. Like friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah, so that's what this is really. I mean, maybe, maybe I should have went with like until you kill Joe, because I two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Yeah, hey, you flinched. To get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. We are not. Family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> Guessing the reason why he hadn't killed us because Thomas tried uh, backing out of it. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Figures. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Should I help him, or should I not help him? Hurt him, or ease his pain? I'm Bruce Wayne, alright? I'm not Batman, just yet. But technically, who? Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you'll never forget the tender kiss. Be so Who the hell goes into a old file, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. Come on. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? But yeah, who the hell just walks in there and being like, "Oh, you want? Some, I'm just a civilian. Hey, you want some morphine? Tweet tweet." That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I liked when uh, Thomas Wayne was actually Boy, Batman in the uh, uh, the uh, Flash Paradox. Yeah, there's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. So now I'm exposing. You really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But yeah. I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? Hell? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that talk. Damn! That was waiting for you in hell. That was um Ugh. random, but okay, I just Oh. She's poisoned. I think. Hands in the air. Stand down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets in or out. I kind of just went like Batman on that, so I think I might have exposed my uh movements being like, "Oh, that was that was some nice moves there, Wayne." Wink wink. He's Batman. I don't know, maybe. Alright, so that was a little, uh, a little weird. So, I think we should, uh, pause the story right here, right now, and find out what happens next time on the non-cooperators. So, we'll see you guys next time.